Hey there, everybody. It's me, Jason the Cartoon Fan. And I have a very exciting DVD unboxing video for you all to enjoy. The Wild Thornberries, The Complete Series. One of the many Nicktoon Complete Series sets that were released by Shout Factory. I absolutely, positively love The Wild Thornberries. I enjoy its characters, the fun adventures, and the warm heart that it has, which the warmness is something that many Nicktoons, even some of my all-time favorite ones, are lacking. I know there are some people who say that this show is so super weird or that it didn't really live up to its potential, and there are some people who outright dislike the show, including my friends Brendan, the cartoon and movie fan, and Alex, the WB and MGM fan, but I still really enjoy this show quite a bit, and I'm definitely happy to have the complete series on DVD. For those of you who missed yesterday's video, I got this as a birthday present for my biological mom, who lives in Oregon. I put it on my birthday present wish list simply because of the fact that Shell Factory's contract with Nickelodeon might be expiring in a couple of years, if not a couple of months. The um, Cat Dogs Complete Series set, which was also released by Shell Factory, went out of print last summer like summer of 2019, and now that that set is out of print, there is a pretty good chance that the other Shell Factory Nicktoon Complete Series sets might eventually also go out of print. I got Danny Phantom's Complete Series set at Walmart a couple of months ago, and now the only Shell Factory Nicktoon Complete Series sets that I need in order to complete my collection besides cat dog set of course because I unfortunately wasn't smart enough to consider buying it with the idea that it could eventually go out of print in mine and those other two shows are the angry beavers and all real monsters but the wild thornberries is my favorite of those three so that's the reason why I put that one on my birthday wish list because this was the one that I wanted to have the most, and now I have it. So, before I get into the actual unboxing of this, it's worth noting that The Wild Thornberries actually has quite the interesting home video history. Of course, The Wild Thornberries movie as well as Rugrats Go Wild, the crossover between the Wild Thornberries and, of course, Rugrats, were both released on DVD by Paramount in 2003. But then, the show received three compilation DVDs in June of 2004 that were not released by Paramount, but rather National Geographic? Huh? And you wouldn't have known that unless you took a look at the logo at the bottom of the front packages for each DVD, since they have the same design as Paramount's DVDs for Nickelodeon shows from around that time, with the little wave of orange that spells out the Nickelodeon logo, if you know what I mean. Here, let me pause the camera real quick so I can show you an example. The Wild Thornberries compilation disc from National Geographic have a package design on the top of the front cover that matches Paramount's Nickelodeon DVDs from around that time, like this Rugrats Decade in Diapers DVD, where there's the wave of orange, and then you can see the oval Nickelodeon logo, the old school Nickelodeon logo right below it. So, that's really interesting to know. And it's actually a, quite a bit ironic now, since National Geographic just got purchased by Disney last March as part of its acquisition of 20th Century Fox. And, you know, Disney and Nickelodeon are really big rivals in the entertainment industry. 
Speaking of which, Disney, please license your shows off the Shell Factory. You, they did a really good job releasing Gravity Falls on Blu-ray, and it would be really nice if more of your shows came out on physical media with the help of Shell Factory. Okay, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. It's Nickelodeon we're talking about. So, after those compilation DVDs came out, Amazon released The Wild Thornberries on DVD throughout 2010 as part of Amazon's Create Space program. Of course, the Burn On Demand DVD-R sets that some Nicktoons like Jimmy Neutron, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and Shock Zone have unfortunately only been released in season sets on physical media through that format. Of course, those DVD releases were promptly discontinued only less than a year after they first came out. Season 1 re was released on DVD from Amazon in June of 2010, and the other four seasons of the show were released as DVD R sets from Amazon in December of 2010. So they were in print for less than a year as Shelf Factory announced that they got the rights to the Wild Thornberries, as well as several other Nicktoons. Hey Arnold, Rocco's Modern Life, Danny Phantom, uh, what else? All Real Monsters, and the Angry Beavers, and of course, like I mentioned earlier, the Wild Thornberries. As well as a live-action show, Hey Dude, which is the only live-action Nickelodeon show that Shell Factory has ever released on DVD. I really wish that the contract with Shell Factory would continue just so we can see full season DVDs for Drake and Josh on DVD. That would be really awesome. But, anyways, The Wild Thornberries was actually the very first Nicktoon to be released on DVD by Shell Factory. A new pressed disc version of Season 1's set was released on DVD by Shell Factory on May 17th of 2011, a couple months before the other Nicktoons had their first season released on DVD by Shell Factory. Then the other seasons were slowly released on DVD between 2011 and 2013. And then, in t September of 2015, Shout Factory finally released the complete series on DVD. It's ironic, The Wild Thornberries was the first Nicktoon to have a season DVD from Shout Factory, but it was the very last Nicktoon to get its complete series box set. Yeah, like I said, quite the interesting home video history for the show. But now that my five or six minute long rambling about the history of the Wild Thornberries being released on DVD is out of the way. Let's take a look at the complete series set. So, on the front package, on the top left corner, we can see the Nickelodeon logo inside of a rectangle. And right below it, we can see the Wild Thornberries logo. And then right below that, it says the complete series. And we see Eliza, Donnie, and Darwin sliding down something in what appears to be a leaf canoe. Then on the bottom right, there's a sticker that says, All 91 Wild and Crazy Adventures, together on DVD for the first time. And it also says that it has a bonus poster inside, which is pretty cool. I've seen some copies of this DVD set at Walmart back when they used to have all the Shout Factory Nicktoon Complete Series sets in stock, and I've seen some copies of it that don't have this bonus poster inside. My biological mom has her own copy of this DVD set, and that copy did not have a poster. I checked. But anyways, here is the left side of the box has the Nickelodeon logo. It says that it's a 15-disc set. Then we see the Wild Thornberries logo. It says the complete series. And then right below that, we see Darwin hanging on to Eliza. Looks like he's scared about something, probably some vicious animal that's about to attack them. And right below that, we see 
a DVD icon, the Shout Factory logo, and the stock number. Here is the right side of the box, which houses the two thick cases that the discs are stored in. And then, here is the back of the box. It has a picture of Eliza swinging a tree branch over Debbie, who seems to be terrified of these flies or mosquitoes or whatever those bugs are, chasing after her. And then Dar Darwin is over there, and he's also scared by those bugs. And there's Donnie, who is, of course, eating the bugs. You know how he is. Anyways... So, it also has the Nickelodeon logo once again, the Wild Thornberries logo, and then the complete series again. And we have the description. The description reads, All 91 Wild Adventures. The globe-trotting girl with the gift of gab and her fantastic family invite you to join them on the adventure of a lifetime in the Wild Thornberries The Complete Series. After an encounter with the mysterious shaman or shaman or however that's pronounced, Eliza Thornberry is granted the amazing ability to talk with animals. Traveling to every corner of the world with her family of Daffy documentarians, Eliza uses her fantastic skill to learn about the lifestyles and habitats of the world's most exotic creatures, straight from the horse's mouth and the chimp's mouth and the lion's mouth, and, well, you get the idea. With all 91 episodes of the Nickelodeon classic cartoon series, Eliza's animated adventures promise hours upon hours of family fun. So what are you waiting for? Gl uh, climb aboard the Thornberry Convy. The adventure... The journey, I should say. It, the journey is about to begin, and your ticket is the Wild Thornberry's The Complete Series. Brought to you by a Nickelodeon fan's favorite travel agent, Shout Factory. Hey, it's quite interesting to see that this description for a Nickelodeon DVD from Shout Factory, which, keep in mind, was, like I mentioned earlier, was the very last complete series set for Nicktoon that Shout Factory ever released, mentions how many Nickelodeon fans love Shout Factory for releasing these Nicktoons on DVD in press disc form. Right below the image of Debbie, Donnie, and Darwin, we have the Shout Factory logo once again, along with Viacom's logo. The logo of evil! And some legal information. You can pause here if you want to read all the information that's listed here. All right. So, let's open this baby up and see what's inside. Whoop. Did not mean to knock my tripod out of the way. Okay. So, here is the contents of the DVD set. Alright, first off we have the poster. So I'm going to fold it out right now so you can see the full artwork that it has. Pretty neat. This is copied directly from the front cover of Season 1's individual DVD release, in case you were wondering. Which is why this poster may look familiar to some consumers. Alright, like I mentioned earlier, we have two thick cases containing all the discs. So first off, here is the first case, featuring disc 1 through 8. And... Season 1 and part of Season 2. On the individual DVD releases for the Wild Thornberries, Shout Factory decided to split Season 2 into three parts instead of the standard two parts that Shout Factory gave when it came to DVD releases for the second seasons of the other Nicktoons that they released on DVD. 
It's a little bit unnecessary because you can see right here that season two part two doesn't really have that many episodes on it. So if they weren't going to release season two in its entirety on DVD like Amazon did with its burn on demand releases of that show, they should have at the very least just made it a made, released season two on DVD in two parts instead of three. A little bit unnecessary in my opinion. But anyways, here's what it looks like so you can see what episodes are included on each of the discs. And then there's some legal information right below. Alright, so here is Season 1, Disc 1 featuring Eliza. Season 1, Disc 2 featuring Donnie. Season 1, Disc 3 featuring Darwin. Season, and Season 1, Disc 4 featuring Debbie. Next off, we're going into Season 2. Season 2, Part 1, Disc 1, featuring Liza again. Season 1, no, not Season 1. Season 2, Part 1, Disc 2, featuring Nigel Thornberry. Oh, smashing! <laughs> Sorry, my bad Nigel Thornberry impression. Season 2, Part 2, Disc 1, featuring Donnie again. And Season 2, Part 2, Disc 2, featuring Debbie again. Then we have the second case, featuring Disc 9 through 15. Here is the back, so you can see what episodes are included here. And then the legal information right below. Alright. So we have Season 2, Part 3, Disc 1. Season 3, no, not Season, Season 2, Part 3, yeah, Season 2. Season 2, Part 3, Disc 2, featuring Darwin again. And over here, we have Season 3, Disc 1, featuring... Eliza, Donnie, and Darwin together. Obviously, it's just a mirror of the artwork that's on the front of the box, as you can see right here. Season 3, Disc 2. Season 3, Disc 3, featuring the Igel again. Season 4, and Season 5. Seasons 4 and 5 were originally released on DVD individually. No, not individually. Like, they were released together. So, that's the reason why they both have the same green labels. And both of them only have one disc. Because, like I said, they were originally released on DVD bundled into one set. Oh, hold on, let me get a better view of what's inside. Season 4 has Eliza again, and Season 5 has Donnie and Debbie again. I know that a couple of the discs have the Thornberry family's mom, but I don't remember what her name was. So if anybody remembers, just make sure to leave a comment down below. As for the review, I would give this set a 4 out of 5. Like I mentioned earlier, I really love The Wild Thornberries, and I'm definitely happy to have it on DVD. The picture quality on the first couple of seasons isn't the best, since Shell Factory did not put a tiny, even a tiny bit of effort into remastering the picture, but the final three seasons of the show, which have digital ink and paint animation instead of cells, and therefore have digital transfers, look much better. There are no special features, but like I mentioned earlier, you do get the poster, depending on which copy of the set that you would buy. My mom got this for me from Amazon, so there is a chance that you can only get copies of this set with the poster in it online, which might be the case, but 
Anyways, it's in a really nice package, and I really do dig the artwork that's on the box and the disc. It's really nice to see that Xiao Factory puts full color artwork on their DVDs still, unlike some other home video companies, <laughs> Disney and Paramount. <coughs> so, if you're a fan of the show, and for whatever reason you didn't buy this DVD already, I definitely recommend picking it up. Just want to warn you that this set does not include the Wild Thornberries movie or Rugrats Go Wild, since both of those movies have their home video rights, like, their home video rights belong to Paramount still. But you can still easily find those movies on DVD new for a pretty good price, either individually or in a series of various multi-feature packs. So, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment on the video if you want to. And if you're new to this channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about each of my exciting upcoming videos. Okay, for those of you who are longtime followers of this channel, stick around to listen to what I'm about to say here. But if you're new to this channel, feel free to click on another video. I honestly don't care if you don't listen to this info. So now that I have a tripod, I am going to try to make videos, like my merchandise collection videos, on a regular basis again. Yep, you know what that means. Stay tuned next weekend for at least part one, because I have to make this as a multi-part video of my complete Cartoon Network DVD collection. I know I promised this video all the way back in March, but because of the aforementioned me desiring to want a tripod, I didn't want to make this video, like the Cartoon Network collection video, until I got such a tripod because I want this video to be the highest quality of the three physical media collection videos that I made, the Nickelodeon, the Disney, and the Cartoon Network ones. So make sure to stick around next weekend for when that comes. All right, until then, this is Jason the Cartoon Fan signing off.